Hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm Scavenger. Welcome to another episode of Chasing Sunsets. Let's go ahead and get into it. All right, we're at the airport now, and I uh, I forgot the name of the woman we're picking up, but she's like the acting CEO of the company. By the time you enter the airport, Mallory is visibly worried. Oh, we're uh, picking up Mallory's friend too, or maybe that's the only one. We're, we're, we're picking up someone. It's either Mallory's friend, the uh, the CEO of the company that Jay and Alex's parents ran, or we're picking up both of them. I can't remember exactly. I hope she had a smooth flight. Amanda doesn't travel well. Yeah, her friend Amanda. Say hi to Amanda for me. Am I going somewhere else? Lisa's plane lands in about 15 minutes. Okay, well, I, we are. We're going to pick them both up. Okay, there you go. Amanda doesn't land for an hour. The weather's really getting ugly. You want me to introduce you to Lisa before you head to your gate? Marley looks surprised a moment before answering. Thank you, Alex. I should probably take a rain check on that until Sophie runs her tests. That'll be interesting. So, then what's the plan? I'll just take Amanda to the annex to meet Sophie. Now, Sophie is the wife of the captain of the ship, or the yacht, I mean. Um, and she's also somewhat of a scientist. So that's who Sophie is. You've met her, so you shouldn't be asking any questions. But I forget a lot, so I gotta remind myself and you. So, this is goodbye, I guess. For now. I'll be around. If you watch her stride off toward the other end of the airport before looking at the arrivals display. Who's Colin? Somebody's texting Colin. Is it this crazy girl again? No, it's Linda. And Linda... Oh, Linda. Okay, yeah, Linda. I was like, who's Linda? Yeah, they. Uh, Linda is the wife of the friend of the family who runs the ski lodge. Um, Not the one that should be Colin. What is it about us in bad weather? Last time we got in a blizzard, and today it's a cyclone. Saw something about that on the news. Okay. But why is she texting? That's what I want to know. Yeah, I'm in a bit of a rush. Got to prep the boat for the storm. Never did meet a hard day's work he didn't like. Yeah, for a rich kid, he does work a lot. He does put in the hours. I'll give him that. That's more the measure of a man than what he keeps in his wallet. True. So, I spent a lot of time thinking about something else you keep in your pants. Oh, calm down, Linda. I know what you were hoping for, but I didn't feel right doing right dirty like that. I'm glad you're telling her. He's a good man, and he's always shot straight with me. Seems he's worked through any suspicions he had. Said you were like a son to him yesterday. Well, that makes it worse. <laughs> you're always welcome back here in the event you need work. Seems like that'd be tempting fate. I don't know. I love him. But the fire's gone out. Never have problems starting one with you. Oh, suggest working on her marriage. Suggest leaving Ray. I, would, I, I don't want to get involved. I don't want to get in the middle of that. I guess I kind of already am since, uh, you know, Alex has done a thing or two way, way before this game ever started. So not my fault. I didn't make those decisions. Alex made those decisions a long time ago. But anyway, I would uh, first I'd recommend working on the marriage. If it doesn't work out, then you should maybe break up. Try to work on it first and go from there. So I'm going to give that that uh, offer. Look, it's none of my business, but Ray's one of the good ones. You can't undo the past, but you can change what happens next. I know, but could I live with this lie? Guilt was the price of admission. Just do right by him going forward. He's worth it. Hey, I'm supposed to be the wise one here. You've given me a lot to think about. You know, with me off the market, I might consider letting you date Ricky. Uh-oh, don't tell her about that. I don't know if it's hot or disturbing that you saw it as a competition. <laughs> Hold on. Oh my god, oh my god. You were so kind and gentle with her in the cabin. She couldn't have had a better first time. She knows about it. Okay. Oh, f you knew? You really thought I'd sleep through my daughter having an arm a foot away? I'm so sorry. <laughs> I don't know what else you could say. You should be. I've been so worked up. Oh, wow. Okay. Wow. Okay. Oh, my God. She's beating the shit out of it. 
Now I'm not sure if I missed an opportunity or had a narrow escape. Oh, don't overthink it. I'm just saying I'm okay with you dating Ricky. I guess that's good to know, but also weird. What? Well, I'm. But, okay. All right. Is she asking? Hold on. What is she asking here? She's saying, but do a but do a horny old woman a favor and leave the door cracked. I don't know exactly what she means by that. I don't know to overthink that. Anyway, got to run. Let me know how it goes with Ray. So I think she's just saying, you know, make sure she can get in, right? Like, leave a way in for her. Like, eh, however you want to read into that. That's what, I think that's what she's saying. Uh, wow, awkward conversation. I wouldn't know what to say. I'd just be like, I have to go. Hmm, Lisa's terminal's right across the way. All right. You sit out and look out the windows at the worsening weather. Gonna be a bumpy ride. You wait patiently as the rain begins to fall. The first crack of thunder rumbles through the airport. A few minutes after scheduled arrival time, Lisa's plane lands hard and lurches down the runway. Shit, that was a rough landing. At the gate, you watch unsettled passengers disembark and disperse to baggage claim. Did she miss her flight? Is that her? Oh, that's funny. You're about to call George when a visibly ill Lisa groans and grasps the gate pillar. Sick as a dog now. Gonna vomit. You okay, Lisa? Need me to hold your hair? <laughs> Lisa shoots you a queasy glare. Three airline tequilas followed by a controlled crash on an empty stomach. Story checks out. Your plane landed ugly. Lisa's eyes narrow as she appraises you. Doesn't look like Sarah left us much to work with. I'm sure that's how everything looks from way up there at the top of the bell curve. A flicker of appreciation and interest appears on the older woman's face. A subtle repose. Measured delivery. You almost even stuck the landing. Poke the bear. I kind of want to poke the bear. Let's poke the bear. Did I hear you say you haven't eaten anything? I still have a half-eaten sandwich here. It's pulled pork and kimchi. But it's still warm because I left it on the heated seats. Lisa's face goes pale as she begins to look around frantically for a trash bin. With iron will, she regains control mid-heave and regards you suspiciously. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh, very well played. Seems I have something to work with after all. Good. Poking the bear was the right move. <laughs> Probably more than you bargained for. Just wait until you meet Jay. Anyway, baggage claim is this way. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Seriously? You picked me up at Pedal Bear's mobile headquarters? It's not mine. Long story. How is this not an active crime scene right now? The question is even harder to answer once you get inside. Lisa appears at the rear bumper, pursing her lips in thought. Okay, what does she see on the rear bumper? <laughs> A great bumper sticker. If you're gonna ride my ass, at least pull my hair. Well, at least it says the things we're all thinking. Oh, Jesus Christ. I didn't even see that earlier. <laughs> After loading her luggage, you climb behind the wheel. It smells like Sasquatch f***ed a bag of takeout in here. Yeah, well, so does the owner. Let me run the air. Thanks. That's better. Weather's going downhill fast. The roads are going to suck. Wait, before we go. Huh? I've heard a lot about Jay, but I don't know anything about you. Okay, fair. We really should get this stuff back to the yacht. If I'm going to put my time into you, I need to know what I'm dealing with. We could talk and drive. What do you need to know? For starters, why did you run away? As you're about to put the van into gear, her question stops you cold. We all know why he ran away, but I don't know if he can tell her that. Yeah, uh, that's personal. Now it's professional. You might just do it again when the going gets rough. This is different. The details might be, but my concern isn't. I'll ask one more time. Why did you run away? Be vague, but honest. Refuse to answer. Um, shit. Well, I'm, I feel like I'm getting hit with hard questions here. They're not hard questions. They're just questions that you don't want to answer, you know? They're, they're private. Can I be vague, but honest? Let's see. I was in love with someone I shouldn't have been. 
seems like an overreaction unless wait was it another guy what no a girl from the wrong family what was the price of staying i don't know give me your best guess a permanent rift between me and the people i love most lisa searches your face intently for a moment you for her said you almost fooled me what do you want from me the actual truth hiding behind that half truth you're silent for a moment unsure of what she's driving at suddenly the words come unbidden almost if it's spoken by somebody else we weren't ready to face it if we'd acted on it then it would have ended badly so you left because if it was ever going to really work i knew we both had some growing up to do all right that was the real truth interesting you're not gonna ask who she was nope the who is none of my business the why is great can we get going now one more thing let's talk about our whistleblower all oh, right i forgot you've been in the air oh you figured it out then yeah it's this guy jay saw for a bit in high school it ended messy do you have a name christian mendez i guess he worked out of the boston office mailroom huh you've got the wrong guy I don't think so. He ambushed Jay at the airport before serving papers to George. I remember him from his interview. I'm telling you, he's not our guy. Wait, you hired him after what he did to Jay? Do you think HR keeps a secret do not hire list of family enemies? <laughs> That's cute. Probably not, but why are you so ready to give him a pass? Logic. He's not on the witness list. Wow, no shit? He's still balls deep in this somehow. Back to square one, I guess. Listen to what I'm saying. I received the witness list this morning. Now it's just a matter of matching a name on it with an employee record. You never needed our help then. Not true. Now I know something I wouldn't have otherwise. What's that? Mendez stuck around for a few months and then resigned. So if he was a mole, he didn't work out. They had to replace him. But the question is, why didn't he work out? So there's a brain under those gem muscles after all. When I inherit the company, you are so fired. You know that, right? Lisa laughs delightedly for the first time since you met her. There's the lion I hoped for in there. Keep your eye on the prize. Now let's get the bang bus on the road before it's reported missing and the internet riots. All right, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, you know what to do. As always, go ahead and smack that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.